All right, what's going on YouTube? Got myself a nice cup of coffee. Just kidding, nothing in it. I was just advertising shamelessly this cup. Shamelessly advertising this cup. You get the idea. So, um, speaking of shameless advertising, it's actually not shameless advertising at all because I have no idea. This is nothing. This is a piece of cardboard with a price tag on it. I have no idea what to make of this pick. Uh, I'm only really just getting it out of the bag now. Um, this is a Black Mountain pick, thumb pick. Okay, have a look there. All right, get it out of the pack, I guess. I like that logo. That's kind of cool. Actually, wait, that logo is... Uh, that's not Black Mountain Pick. That's Nepean Music. So I actually got uh, given this by the guys at Nepean Music. Uh, I was just having a chat with them. I was looking around and I told them about my YouTube channel, just spruiking a little bit. And um, they said, yeah, you can take this and let us, you know, see what you think. Um, so it's a pick with a hinge on it that's kind of like a flat pick, obviously. You guys probably know about this anyway. You've probably looked it up going, I wonder if they're any good. Um, and you probably have some idea of what it is. And now I'm just giving you kind of a an honest... Uh, thought on, you know, I'm going to be nice, obviously, but uh, I'm going to be honest as well. I'm going to try and be realistic about where this sits. So, um, all right, it's $9.95 Australian, which is a fair bit for a pick, but you know what? It's probably a good thing because I might not lose it like I lose every other pick. I saw a great meme the other day of like, you know, the scientists discovered a black hole and all the picks were there. I thought that was pretty true. Um, Oh, I just popped it on my finger. Felt pretty natural. That's good. That's always a good sign. Like it just, it was just there. I looked down and I put it on. Um, I've also got my banjo handy, so we'll we'll have a look at that as well. Um, I'm looking at the fact that it's got Black Mountain written right on the actual pick. I don't know if you can see that, and um, it's textured. So I'm gonna be honest. That's already a no a no no to me. The, that there's no need for that. Um, I understand you, you guys at Black Mountain want to advertise your pick, but I wouldn't raise, I don't really want to raise surface on the pick. I mean, I guess I don't really pick with that part. You know what? Maybe I'm, I'm being unnecessarily fussy. Let's, but you know, I'm being honest. So anyway, let's see, let's see how it feels to play. feels good on the thumb actually. Yeah, I, I can feel that texture. Don't like that texture. going to be honest. The texture of the riding Black Mountain. Um, maybe put it on the back of here if you can. That's my honest feedback, guys, at Black Mountain. And if you're watching, but it's also not a massive deal. It's just, it's not particularly noticeable. Uh, I'm just being critical, perhaps. So um, it kind of looks bulky. And when I'm looking down on it, it looks kind of funny with that big square bit. But it doesn't bother me at all. It actually is quite comfortable. And uh, where the hinge is, it doesn't get in the way. So that's a good sign. So look, it's great as a thumb pick. I have no issue with it whatsoever. Um, again, as I mentioned, just just the raised writing on there, I feel like is it just doesn't need to be there um, from my point of view. But uh, as far as thumb picking goes, it feels good. I feel a bit funny. I've been playing so much banjo. I feel funny not having finger picks. So um, let's try it as a flat pick. A bit of sets up. Okay, um, yeah, it feels alright. Interestingly, because it is actually kind of clamped to my thumb, it makes me realize that with a regular flat pick, I must have some angle because it feels just slightly, 
uh, flatter to the strings than I would probably normally hold a pick and I didn't realize that until now. So that's interesting too. It's educating me about how I normally hold a, re a flat pick. So I definitely like to have a little bit of um, movement sort of this way, if that makes sense. But the good news is the, the spring does give a little bit of that, maybe just a little bit more uh, than a, than an actual flat pick. But I think the um, the pick size doesn't really suit me, to be honest, because I prefer a smaller pick. So uh, maybe that's something else that could also be looked into is just, just this, this pick's a little bigger than what I would use. I like the Jazz 3s. So it's probably um, always, you know, it's going to force the position in which I'm holding the pick, if that makes sense, in relation to the pad of my thumb. Uh, which is the issue with the thumb pick, right? When you're flat picking stuff. So, uh, but it's not necessarily a bad thing because I'd say that's probably technically the correct place to be holding a pick. I probably don't do that. It's probably a little out, but um, I don't know. It's no, not a massive deal. It's something. It's not something I can't live with. Yeah, it's definitely wanting to change my whole hand action if I'm going to start using it as a flat pick. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, we're comparing it with something like this. So this is a Fred Kelly pick. Let's just switch over. Yeah, that's actually slightly less comfortable, I'm going to be honest. Uh, slightly less comfortable as a flat pick. But it does feel more familiar to me uh, because of the profile. So, you know, look, there's advantages and disadvantages. The, the main difference, I guess, is just the give that you get with the with the hinge. It's really the, the, the main thing that this offers that a, uh, a regular thumb pick's not going to offer. Uh, Fred Kelly also do the Bumblebee pick, which I'm not sure I have one of those laying around. Um, but it doesn't really matter anyway because uh, that's similar, but uh, it doesn't have the hinge. It's kind of... Just it's just sort of pressed in place on the plastic, so um, might be something for yourself though to compare. Get yourself one of these and get yourself a uh, a Fred Kelly uh, Bumblebee. I think no Bumblebee. I think it's called a Bumblebee. Yeah. Look for ten bucks. If I'm if I'm being really honest, for ten dollars, uh, it can't hurt for you to just buy one and try one and see how it works for you. The biggest advantage of this is that if you have a big thumb. It doesn't really matter. It kind of grabs onto your thumb and the tension of the spring will hold it in place. Look, I'll grab the banjo, lastly, and we'll see how it feels with the banjo and the thumb picks uh, with the finger picks. Might actually work really nicely because it's a bit more cumbersome. Speaking of cumbersome, this thing weighs a lot. is something very comfortable about this. I think I think for me this suits the banjo better than I thought it would because you've got that slightly more lengthy uh, finger picks going on and it sort of sits a bit nicer with the length of the flat pick that's on this, so to speak. So Yeah, do you know what's really funny? I, I did I would have thought this was was um Definitely not going to be particularly useful for banjo because you're you don't mind having a nice thumbersome thumb <laughs> thumbersome cumbersome thumb pick uh, for banjo picking, but uh, I don't know, it just feels really good with matched up with the finger picks. So that's something to think about. Okay, uh, I guess my closing thoughts on it. Uh, you look for ten bucks; it's worth a try. You, it depends on your playing. I guess for what I do, for you know, playing with a thumb pick regularly, uh, and the little bit of flat picking that I do when I do that, or, or I might even just you know switch between my thumb and first finger. Um, I, it doesn't have a huge use for me, uh, but it it strangely feels particularly comfortable on banjo, uh, and strangely it actually feels really good just doing straight thumb picking, which is kind of really funny because I think the whole idea of it is that you, you know it gives you that ability to switch between um, flat picking and finger picking uh, but yeah I, I find it's just kind of quite comfortable for, for using as a thumb pick anyway because it's got that sort of profile um, if you have a different pick technique holding a pick if it's a bit more correct mine mine might be a little funny I'm really not sure now <laughs> but it, it may just feel more comfortable to you switching between the fingers and the thumb so um, give it a go it's 10 bucks you can't really go too wrong 
and uh, I'm sure the guys at Black Mountain have all the best intentions of making something, you know, they have their reasons for making it. Guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.